Good day. My name is Jörg Bassam. We are going to discuss over the next seven lessons the great 11 probability. All the problems that we're going to discuss are from this great 11 mathematics textbook from Mind Action series. I'm the co-author of this textbook and you will find all the problems within this textbook. We are going to look at the four topics within grade 11 probability. And they are rules of probability, secondly, Venn diagrams, then two-way contingency tables, and the last topic we're going to look at is on tree diagrams. In this very first lesson on, on uh, rules for probability, we will discuss the general rule. Now, this rule is very important in probability and we use it because it gives us a relationship between and and or. Now, you hopefully still remember that uh, in with and and or, as we did it in grade 10 as well, means that and is the same as the intersection or is the same as the union. And in many problems, they will give us and, and they will ask you for or, or they will give you or and ask you for and. And then we use this general rule. Let's look at this general rule and then also at a few examples to see how we're going to use it. The general rule says that the probability of A or B is equal to the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of the AND. Now, it is important that you understand where this rule is coming from. So, when we think of a Venn diagram, and just to see what this is about, that is our sample space, and we've got two events, A and B. Now, the rule says that the probability of A or B. Now, you will agree with me that the or is this whole part inside. So, the A as well as the B as well as the both or the and. So that is OR. Now, how will we find this OR? We must take the probability of A plus the probability of B. And as you can see, when I say probability of A, I include this AND. And plus the probability of B, I include it again. So when I add the probability of A plus the, plus the probability of B, it means that we added the AND part twice and therefore we need to subtract it once. So I hope that makes sense to you. That the probability of A or B is equal to the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the AND because it was added twice. So let's now look at this example. Two events A and B are such that the probability of A is 0,3 probability of B is 0, 0,4 and the probability of A and B is 0, 0,1 and they ask us to find the probability of A or B. So as you can see, and is given to us, they ask us for or and the probability of A and B also. So it means we are going to use this general rule. So the rule says that the probability of A or B is equal to the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of A and B. And now it's just a matter of substitution. So probability of A is 0, 0,3 plus the probability of B is 0, 0,4 minus the probability of A and B is 0, 0,1. And that is an easy problem to calculate. 0, 0,3 plus 0, 0,4 minus 0, 0,1 will give you 0, 0,6. So the probability of A or B 
will be 0, 0,6. Let's look at the second example. This one says that at a restaurant, 40% of customers order a starter. 50% order dessert. 60% of customer, customers order at least one of the two, a starter or a dessert. What percentage of customers order both, starter and dessert? So first of all, you always need to write down what is given to you and then to see what they ask you to find. So, 40% of customers order a starter. 50% order dessert. So, when we start with those two, remember, when we use the rule, we can't use the 40%. We must take it to a decimal or a common fraction. So, what we have now is the probability for a customer to order a starter, and I'm going to use the symbol S to represent starters, is equal to 40%, or we can say 0, 0,4. The probability for dessert, those who will order dessert, that is 50% of the customers, and that will be 0, 0,5. What is important now is what is, is to determine what the 60% means. 60% 60 of customers order at least one of the two. Now, at least one of the two may be either a starter or a dessert or both. That means or is given to us. So we can say that the probability of starter or dessert is equal to 0, 0,6. So you can now see that we know the probability of S, that is the starter, we know the probability of dessert, and we know the probability of starter or dessert. And the question now is, what percentage of customers order both? And that is a very uh, a very clear indication what they want. Both means and, because both events must happen. So they ask us for the probability of starter and dessert. That is what we need to find. To do this, we're going to write down our general rule again. The probability of starter or dessert is equal to the probability of starter plus the probability of the dessert, minus the probability of starter and dessert. So, as you can see now, that this rule is or is equal to probability of S plus probability of D minus the and. Now, and is what we are looking for. So, you've got a choice. You can see this. This term is negative, so we can take it across and bring the OR to the side. Or we can leave it like this and substitute and then manipulate. So let's do that. So OR is given to us as 0, 0,6. Probability of starter is 0, 0,4. Probability of dessert is 0, 0,5 minus the probability of starter and dessert. Now we can say the probability of starter and dessert is equal to 0, 0,4 plus 0, 0,5 minus 0, 0,6. So as you can see, this term, I now move it to the left and this one move to the right. And that is where this is coming from. So now we can finish this problem and say the probability of starter and dessert. And now if we add and subtract the 0, 0,6, we will get an answer of 0, 0,3. Please remember, the question asks us for the percentage. So you need to give the percentage of this 0, 0,3. And therefore, our final answer 
will be 30% of the customers will order both. Now, by looking at these two examples, you hopefully can see how we use this general rule to calculate probability questions. Thank you.